AQ's Blog and Grill. Hi, and welcome to AQ's Blog and Grill. We're really excited today to have Paul Kopflesch join us. Uh, Paul has been a graphic designer, he's been an art director, he's been a creative director, he's been the VP branding of a large uh, technology company, and he's got something new and, and exciting that he's uh, starting out with. So, Art Under Us is, is the name of your endeavor. Yeah, one of the things I learned as I, as I started curating and finding all these images of manhole covers in various cities around the world was that um, stars factored into the designs of these things mm -hmm. uh, fairly often. And stars are symbols of the things we think are critical and important, hmm. the things we aspire to. And yet somehow, literally in the gutters of streets, there are some of the most beautiful stars I've ever seen in my life. And I kind of think, hmm, I think the universe and art works that way. Sometimes the most important thing in life is at the lowest levels. And, and sometimes beauty and originality and, and uh, uniqueness mm -hmm. is overlooked. And society has a, has a way of being there to congratulate you when you succeed at something. Mm -hmm. But the journey to success for, for any entrepreneur or anyone with an original thought or an idea is, is usually relatively lonely. And you have to rely on your own originality and your own uniqueness to get you through. Right. And the, 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 the symbols of, of, of stars made out of cast iron yeah. uh, in, the, in the gutters of the streets of, 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 of our major urban cities um, became a really interesting metaphor for me. You have to wear your originality and your uniqueness like these stars, and you have to polish your star, and your star has to be made out of cast iron um, yeah. to, to endure and be resilient enough mm -hmm. to, to see you to, to, you, to your success. And, and uh, Art Under Us first started out as just a collection of photographs, mm -hmm. but then evolved into this larger story mm -hmm. and a larger, more universal meaning that uh, people seem to be gravitating towards. Interesting. Now, you mentioned yourself as a curator, mm. uh, not as the artist. Yeah, here is work that someone spent a great deal of time crafting. And some of these designs are stunningly beautiful. It's amazing. And, and I look at it and go, you know, that person knew full well we were going to ignore what they did. In fact, we were literally going to walk over their work, right. their yeah. craft, and yet they did it anyway. And I found that really interesting, and I thought that was worth capturing. So from that perspective, I'm a curator of, of art that really should be in, you know, hanging on people's walls, but is, is, is on the streets. A any artist who, who, who is, is, is watching this program or listening to the program will we'll identify with the fact that it's really hard to like your own art because you know every compromise you made and you're driven to a vision and you know that you're never going to get there so you're always looking at how to get further and further and right. further. Whereas this is really only kind of like one third of, of me. Like there's the artist, there's the universe, and then there's kind of me. So I can look at this work and go, that's really good. I really like it, and and I'm enjoying the curating and the pulling of pulling it together and uh, a lot. Yeah. Are we going to go to art galleries, and 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 see your work, uh, or is this something you're you're taking a different approach to? Part of the message of the art is the idea that despite the world not necessarily paying attention to your uniqueness, you should be proud of your uniqueness. You should sell. We should celebrate. Right. Resilience of, of, of uniqueness. Right. That message I want to place into pop culture rather than just place it into an art gallery. But if, if all I do is get this work into art galleries uh, and expand it to a slightly larger audience of people who already kind of think this way, mm. I, I, I think part of the message is, 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 is being lost. 
part of the art itself is placing a message into culture that says, even if the world ignores your uniqueness, be proud of it. Because pop culture usually is the thing that ignores this stuff. So if I can get pop culture to pay attention mm -hmm. to this, right. then I think the message is complete and placing it into pop culture is part of the art itself. I'd love to have art under us as a billboard in Times Square and the message would say, don't look up here, go to Wooster Street mm -hmm. and look down because that's where you're going to find something unique. So in, in, in the framework of pop culture, uh, is there anyone that stands out to you in terms of someone who has explored this in terms of their art and their creativity and pop culture? One of them uh, was Andy Warhol. Andy, sure. Who um, really didn't care if art galleries hung his work. In fact, for him, the point of his work was to make it part of culture. That was a, uh, an inspiration for me in terms of someone who really understood how to leverage and work with culture, pop culture, mm -hmm. as part of his art form. Right. Uh, another would be Peter Max, who um, placed his art on just about everything, yes. and, and to the point where it almost got a little ridiculous. You know, you could get Peter Max shower curtains and Peter Max pillows and Peter Max on and on and on, to the point where it almost became a bit of a joke. And, and I had the privilege of, of meeting and, and working with Peter Max a number of years ago. I think the final bit of inspiration for me mm -hmm. uh, is, is something far, far more recent. Mm -hmm. And that is a website called Holstie. Dot com, H O L S T E E. They published their manifesto on the website. And their manifesto is beautiful, and I recommend people go read it. People fell in love with the manifesto to such an extent that they started getting a lot of requests for posters for the manifesto. It didn't take long before they were in the business of their manifesto. And, and, and pop culture kind of gravitated around it, and people fell in love with the message right. and they built a business out of the message wow. and that's what I hope to do okay. with art under us is it's not just about manhole covers and it's not just about pictures it's about the message okay. and that's bigger and more universal okay. than, than than the art itself you grew up in a, in a world of branding, and you, and yeah. you became world-renowned for it. How are you going to brand art under us? You know, if I'm going to do this, I would like to do it, to as, do it with as broad of an audience as possible. Mm -hmm. To do that, perhaps I need a brand. And a conversation you and I have had many, many times about branding is that Branding is the art of managing the context of a product, right. not the product itself. The, the, the product is the content. Right. Branding is managing the context Text. around it. Really, the content is manhole covers. Right. And we've already talked about how it's a manhole cover and we all walk over them and pay no attention to them. By placing them into a photograph, I change the context a bit. Exactly. By playing with the light, and paying attention to the light in the photograph, I change the context a bit more. Right. By building a story around it, I change the context further. So then the subject matter goes from something no one pays any attention to, to subject matter where people go, well, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess I've never paid attention to that before. To well, maybe I should pay attention to other things. Mm -hmm. To, geez, maybe I'd like that on my wall because it represents something about me. Mm -hmm. And that's the shift of, that, that's the, the power of context. Right. So that's what I'm doing with Art Under Us, is shifting uh, the, the art of shifting from content to context. Perfect. AQ's Blog and Grill.